Body Jerome Wright here and once again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, in this video I believe that this is the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula. Um, this image is a, a popular web search. Basically all you have to do is just put in um, um, nebulae cloud matter or cloud matter in space or nebula matter and this image is one of the popular images that have actually come up. And um, in this image here, what I'm actually going to detail is that, like I do on so many of my other um, videos which reference um, nebulae matter, is to show you that there is holographic, holo holographical images, multidimensional images, which detail creation of life forms throughout solar systems, throughout galaxies, and throughout the universe. And these images, it's like, a, it's, it's like a combination, a cluster of information, which is detailed in these images. And it shows you pretty much what can be expected when you arrive upon in our galaxy. These images are actually shown if you know what to look for. Almost like a poster board, to be totally honest with you. I like to think of this as being like um, priceless art in all different types of forms which detail and depict what is going on. It's no different than if a person was to visit your home and you have the generations upon generations of images or photos of your family um, tree in your home from your children to your parents, to your grandparents, all of those pictures that you have in your, this is the same exact thing which is a much, on a much larger scale here and um, in space. And of course, you have to realize that what I'm about to show you, this this image here in itself is probably, I mean, what, several hundred thousand light years in width and in and, 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 and length. You know what I mean? So this is what I am. Um, this is what I'm right at. Let me show you what 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 I'm what I'm detailing here. Okay, I do have another highlighted. I have a slide video on this as well too, so you can see my slide video as well. Um, I'm doing this um this 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 narr this narrative video to actually just take and um and give a little bit more information. When you look at these images you can see that there are pictures there I mean until well you really can't until you pr until someone points it out to you like I'm doing now okay then you start to know what to look for if you come over here there's the head of a deer right here there's the mouth there's the nose there's the eye there's the head there's the ear it's a full head of a deer alongside that deer in the shadow right here is the image of an ape right there both of those images are combined with a larger image and it's that of a tiger the deer's head is the tiger's chin there's the tiger's lips the bottom lip there's his top lip coming over his nose and there's the familiar head of the tiger right here along with a bunch of other holographic images. Depending on which resolution that you look at this tiger in, half of the face of the tiger, this is the whole tiger's head here, but half of its head could be realized as that of what we, a likeness of a lion man or a lion as they do it in cartoons, lion -o. Half man and half lion. But this is not just the amazing thing about this. It shows you other details about how these, those genes from that from this cocktail of creations, mutated off to another side, and then on this side, there are other mutations. But check this out. In between, look at how you notice. Now there's a tiger right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that in a minute. There there's a tiger. I mean that's that's without no question. But you ever heard of a white tiger or or, or, or a white lion? those those creatures well if you look right here there is a ghostly figure of a cat's face right there its mouth is here open there's this telltale nose right there there is this Chinese cat looking eyes there's his forehead and here is his face 
here is its, its mouth right in here. Look at look right there. Now, when you Google the image, I'm looking at it from another angle, but when you Google the image, you will see what I'm talking about. So we have the one cat there, and then we have the two cat, and then we come over to the other side. I'm gonna I'm gonna move along here. If I can get oh, I hate when I do this. I hate when I do this. I kind of highlighted the cat for you. Here's the cat highlighted right there. See how the mouth goes down? See the whiskers, the nose, the eyes? Okay. It shows a mutation. I, can, I, I, sh I like to say a cauldron. Let's think of nebulae matter as a cauldron. And it's showing you that how all of these creations were put into like a melting chemistry, a melting pot. And it shows you what their what their from was created. And that's what nebulae gas matter I found to be all about. Now I know of course that stars are supposed to be being created here in nebulae but gas matter. And these stars are sent out. But people there's a chemistry there that also there is information contained there in these nebulae gas matters. And it could be realized almost you know what they could be almost considered like a crystal skull almost or like a a a a, a not not a crystal skull let's say a crystal ball looking into nebulae matter consider it to be a crystal ball and it gives you a glimpse on what was in the past what is current and what could be in the future and that's what this is detailing now I have that Deer highlighted there along with a few other things. I don't know if you can see them, but I want to show you the head of this line as well, too. And there's the catch face. It looks a little discombobulated, of course, because it's in cloud matter right there. It's in cloud matter, and it's a little twisted in here and there, but that is absolutely a catch face. So those of you that want to go and look up this image, you'll be able to see that now. You can also download the um, the actual image of it. Um, um, the photo of it from my um, from my Facebook page or from Google Plus. Okay, here we go. Here, let's go to the next one. Come on, while we okay, there you go. Now, here you see in the cat's face. Here, I don't know if I can. I, I know I got my screen there, but I have several other faces highlighted. There is not one, just one image here, people. What is, it's almost like a, an overlapping or overlaying of images upon images upon images. So where I may see one face, you may see it as another face. And this is, this is, it may sound crazy to you that I'm saying it this way, but me being as an African American, Maybe you being as a Caucasian, or maybe you being as an Indian, or maybe you being as an Ethiopian, or maybe as you being as a Chinese person, or maybe you you being, I mean, or should I say an Asian person, or Caucasian, whatever, based on your genetic makeup and how you were created through this cauldron and this cocktail, is based on the way that you would be able to see these images. So this is why we all have a di a diff I, I guess a differing a differing imaginative thought on how you can look at something. You will see it differently than the way I see it. However, I have this gifted ability to show you exactly what I see. Oh, um, look at this! This this ape is is a cross between Neanderthal and an ape right there. I'm going to draw that guy out one day. There he is. I see him crystal clear alongside of that deer there. Oh, this is this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you can see how much of that you can see. And I'm looking at this from backwards. Let me go to the next image. Why is this taking so long to change over? I don't like... I'm letting this idle down to... On. Oops, hit it twice. Don't go again. Please don't go again. And it did. Yeah, when I want you to go, you don't go. Okay. Here. I have the line outline highlighted in purple. 
right here. And I have another image that I'm gonna, it's highlighted right there. You can actually see the outline of it now, see it? Okay, that cat that is in the middle, there's, you'll see that there's a connection, an interaction from this side of the nebulae matter to that side of the nebulae matter. Look at how there are faces and I mean, if you go to the nebula matter and compare what you see, which, what, what I'm identifying here, you see cheekbones, you see eyes, you see hair, and even in the background, the stars seemingly fill in for the place of the eyes of these beings that are depicted in the celestial gas matter, you know? So, and this is what I actually see amongst a host of other images. There is not one part of this cloud matter, this nebulae matter, that does not have an holographic image in it. Okay, now you see how the line actually comes in. I'm going to show you more. Then again, you can go to my Facebook page or my Google Plus page and get the original image, the unedited version, which is just like this here. And this is what you would actually get. So, and you can actually make, look at how that cat is. Look at that. Oh, this is amazing. Here's the bottom lip. Here's the lip. There's the nose. Look at this cat. There's this telltale mouth right there. There's this bottom chin. That's that telltale nose going around. Look at that. Wow. The bottom lip in here. There's this mouth. There's a mouth line right there. There's a straight line to go up to the nose right there. There's the nose. And all of the whiskers all out. The, the, the way the hair frizzes out. All of that is right here, people. All right, I'm going to keep going. And besides this one here, but that's the main one. That's obvious. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Okay, there you go. I have the cat highlighted now for you to see. There's his chin. Right here on the chin is where the deer would be. Here's his mouth. There's his nose. Even has all of the line features. The detail for a tiger's face. All of the details are there. You know, this should not be surprising to you because, and then the ape is right here in the front, which is a representation of mankind, or first mankind. There's the ape right there. There's the ape's chin. There's the ape's lips. There's the ape's teeth. There's the ape's top lip. There's that, um, the, the going into the nose area, that, that bridge part right there. And then the ape's eye is right here. There's an ape's face. This should not be surprising to you because in all history, let's go back as far as we can go back to ancient Egypt with the great sphinx. And now the great sphinx, these bodies of the lion, the bodies of these dogs, all of this information is based on information and the details how mankind evolved from that of I found to be reptilians and then on to our reptilian ape which was the first image I mean first um, being of man reptilian ape and well which was the closest descendant of what we are today then um, then came reptilian man then off into becoming mankind um, African and this should make sense to you because it would also describe how Africans, I mean real Africans, I mean the, the darkest, the, the blackest of Africans, original Africans, because in my mind, Africans are not Africans today. They've been genetically manipulated by all of those foreign countries that came in and, 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 um, and occupied and now broken down their DNA. And this is what this is all about. Af Africa being the motherland, being the support, the founding stones. Of mankind where it started from and then there's this recycling nation of life that comes back into it this is why you see everyone has this interest in Africa besides the diamonds and everything you wonder why they're over there doing all of these humanitarian services and all of this stuff over there in Africa people it's all about the genetics they can tap back into these genes they go back into this gene pool and recycle back out this is what how mankind has reinvented himself okay and one day, if I get an opportunity get discovered here, I'll be able to write a book and describe to you how it all occurred from the beginning because I have envisioned it and I, um, through my problem, experience and encounter. Okay, you see the line? There's his lips. 
there is his chin. His chin is a, is the head of a deer. In the face, front of it, by his nose, is a ape. And there's other morphing dimensional images that are in there. And the eye is created by a star, but all of the telltale features of this creature is right there. Just little markings. I just I use the, the the minimal amount of lines to make this creature, and it's everything that's based on it was already there. I did not exaggerate anything. So you have the face of the lion, then you have the face of the cat, which is right here. Again, I can show you there. I can I can almost draw it out. If I had a watermark, I could actually draw it out. There's the bottom lip. Um, there is the mouth, that, that telltale sign of the mouth that goes into that, that hook there. Then the line that goes up to the center nose, going up to the cat's face. You have a white cat, which is right there, with a, bu a bunch of other morphing dimensional images. Um, I'm gonna go more. Here you have a winged being. I wonder how much of this you can actually see. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of this winged being you can actually see. I see him what my line. I have his wings back here. I gotta probably back off some for you to see this winged being. Again, you can go to my Facebook page and uh, and get more. Okay, where are we at? All right, here's a wing being. Here's his bottom of his chin line. I'm going to come underneath his chin line here. Coming into his mouth, to his lips. I'm going around making his lips there. Coming up that, that piece in between his nose and his mouth. Here's his nose. There's his eye right there. Okay. And he almost looks like he's, he's a, he has a head of flame. Okay. Here's these little flames coming off the back of his neck area. Then out of the back of his neck, right there where his spine is, um, I'm over here, you can't you can't actually see that. So I gotta reduce this some more. Okay. I had to reduce it some more. Here's these flames that create his head and the nebula matter. Looks look, looks like flames right there. Come out the back where his neck is, almost look like a horn coming out of his neck right here, a protrusion coming out of his neck look like it's coming off of his spine, a horn. Then behind the horn you have these wings and I keep going off, off, off. Okay, let's come over this way. You have this horn, then you have these wings. There's the shoulder coming back around. Here's the neckline. Here's the front of the neckline here. I don't have it highlighted, but there it is right there. I can see it from here. You could have a full dimensional image of a winged being right here. And as I'm describing these things to you, you can actually see other images because right here is a green head that is wearing a crown and here this part here creates the crown like and then you start seeing other faces now check this out now I can see it from backwards now here it is here now I'm gonna draw it out for you here to the words I'm coming around a the chin there's a mouth there's a nose there's an eye and within the and within this Nubian looking guy this winged being okay check this out there's the mouth there's the nose there's an eye Look at the crown right here, how the crown is created like a queen right there inside of this Nubian guy with this wing that is flying through this nebula matter. Now I'm going to do it again. The Nubian guy is here. Here's his chin, his mouth, his nose, his eye, his whole entire head. Out of his neck, there's a horn right there. Here's his wings made into the nebulae matter right here. Here's his wings, okay? Right in his neck, almost as on his shoulder, like a tattoo on his neck, there is the face of a queen. There's her chin, here's her lips, there's her nose, there's her eye, and right here is her crown. All incorporated into the original guy which is right here. All through this nebulae matter is nothing but multi-dimensional images that shows you how there is a correlation between these animals and the way man and that of man being created. I can read this entire mass to you in a similar way. 
Do I have another? I thought I had 10 images here. And I guess I have to go backwards again down. And it all details, people, how we were created. It's information. All right, I guess we can come back up again. See what we got here. This is all information which details how we were created. And it should not be surprising because these recordings, we cannot believe that the recording of the information of these worlds are just isolated to just our world. There is emitted matter off of our planet. Our planet, I consider our, our atmospheric layerings of our planet to be a filtration membrane, meaning that information energy from off our world, emissions from off our world can be emitted into space, accepted into space. So almost like a recording, like, a, you know what I mean? Like if there was a, a tape playing of this information being sent out. I mean, you talk about spiritual passings out through all of our world into heaven. This information that comes from out of our world is being emitted into space. And this matter is taking up a physical substance in itself, a, a manifestation and, and an energy in space which creates these images in nebulae gas matter. Look how, look, here's a close-up of that, of her face. There's her chin, there's her lips, there's her nose, there's her eye, there's her forehead, and look at her crown. Look at her crown, people, right there, created in gas matter. Look at the face. I didn't draw this. This is here. Look how her and her face is in the neck of a Nubian guy, a Nubian man. And if and here's here's his chin, there's his lip, there's his nose, there's his eye. Look, look how these faces look all dreamy. Like there's his eye, there's his head, and look and look at her. Look like a cartoon. And which brings me to the thing, to the point of how Disney. Now, other famous cartoon, Hanna Barbera, all of these cartoon people, um, um, creators, which have catering to our children and to our minds from our from our youngest of youth, always still through our adulthood, and still continuing with movies. A lot of this stuff that I'm detailing here appears within those blockbuster cartoon movie hits. All of this stuff is information. That details who we are. All every every bit of it. Look at this. Look at this woman in space with wearing a crown. Look, look at the crown. Detail, people, look at the details here. This is space matter. This is not nothing I drawn. This is lights. Look. A crown. And then look at the markings on the crown, the specific markings. There's one. There's one. These peaks on the crown. Look. A female's crown, a dis, not no male's crown, a distinct female's crown. Where it goes, it's high in the front and low in the back. Look at this. And look at how her face, look how she's looking forward. Then you have this cat over here and then other faces going forward. There's tongues coming out of the mouth and everything. To see this is, I mean, it's just, um, it's, it's just a, totally amazing, to be totally honest with you. You know, so these are images that you can Google. These are NASA images. And this is not just the only uh, 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 nebula that I've done this with, people. I've done this with the Garin Emissions Nebula, the Crab Nebula, um, the Carina Nebula Paranormal, the Eagle Nebu um, Nebula. These nebulas, people, the, um, um, the Orion, all of these nebulas have a consistent message within these dimensional images, holographic images, which detail who we truly are. Again, I challenge you to go look at these nebulas for what they truly are. Dimensional message boards. And this is reality of who we truly are, the information of how we were created is all contained herein. And I just keep, I keep this woman is just, she's just amazing. Her chin, 
Look at her lips. I didn't even highlight none in here. Nothing here. Look at how her lips are made through. In the look, it's her lips are a heart. Look turned in her nose her eye her forehead and her crown I didn't even highlight this this is her being here without no highlight and then she's in the face of and I don't have the highlights here of the guy now but I can see him more clearly right there there's a lips there's a nose all up in there she's in the neck of that guy that I first highlighted which is here again I got one screen against another so you can't really see that but if you google the image you'll be able to see these things now the resolution is depending on where you're at so when you google these images you put them up on a large screen in a setting and people what you do to see these images you back in and out don't try to look at I mean by the time you focus in on one image another one will appear so take the easiest one usually which is the lion's face over here focus in on the lion then look at the lion's chin and say, well, Jerome is right. There's a deer there in the lion's chin. I can see it clear as day. And if I look hard enough, I can see the ape right there as well, too. And as your eyes become, become trained, you will start seeing different things. Like this woman's face. To try to see her dead on, you can't see it. The reason why you can see her so plainly here on my screen is because I'm showing her to you in a negative sense, not in a positive sense. A lot of these images, if you try to look at them in the positive sense as being straightforward, you cannot. It's almost like a mirror. I have two screens playing between each other and it gives you the perfect picture. It exposes this woman for who she truly is. There will be some images that you will be able to see on your own. Others you cannot. You know, but the more that you train your eyes to become disconnected from the reality and seeing things that way we are used to seeing them, is the more of this stuff that you will see. But I'm telling you people that this is all description of, of an evolution of not just space, but of who we are physically, spiritually. It is all enwrapped and encased in this which should not again should not be a surprise because we are in a place of space that is forever expanding and in that expansion is the information of all creation in which we are a part of I'm gonna leave you with that and I'm gonna end this video there maybe I might put some more on writing I'll see but I hope that you like this video and again people this image here says it all for itself you have a woman. Look at her face. I did. I swear to you, I did not do no highlights, no nothing. There's nothing there. Basically, what you are seeing is a raw image of a queen in the neck of a a Nubian king. And then there's other dimensional images. They go from their smallest state of being to their largest state of being, and there's all different resolutions that you can actually see these images. The next thing about all of this is that these animals, these creatures, they cause for the genetic altering of our kind from that of our reptilian state to who we are today. And again, there's all these mythical um, messages about how we evolved from the dog, the behemoth, and um, from the from the reptile, the, le the levitron, the sea creature, the monster. It all discusses how mankind evolved through creatures of our water onto land through these creatures and through a cycle nation of all of these creatures we are able to keep going over like a like a almost like a, a viral like a wing like a ringworm keeps going back that snake eating its tail this is what this is all describing it's a cycle of going back into itself it's that snake that keeps cycling back into itself to create other beings and those other beings are all of the creatures pretty much throughout the evolution of our planet it's just that's what the story is of that snake cycling back in on itself like a wing like a ringworm creating reinventing itself into a cycle spiral on itself back into all of these other creations and all of these creatures my name is Jerome Wright I'm gonna end the video there and I may and may not put more on